Alright guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to install the Ubuntu Touch Developer Edition onto your Samsung Galaxy Nexus. So, the only thing you are going to need for this is a rooted Galaxy Nexus. And this method also works for every other Nexus device that you're trying to install this on. So, you don't have to do this on your computer, but it's just easier for me. So, what you're going to want to do is go to your browser. And I will put a link to this page right here. But what you're going to want to do is scroll down, and you are going to want to download the you know image for your phone so see right here it is the Maguro zip you are going to want to download you'll know what I'm talking about when I show you the files but this is just where you download everything so after you download it see I downloaded the two files right down here I don't know if you can see it all that well but I'll bring it up right here and see if I can zoom in a little bit Turn it and there we go. So you'll need the Quant Quantal pre-installed Armel plus Maguro. That's because I'm using the GSM Galaxy Nexus, which is the Maguro. And then you'll also need the Fablet Arm HF. This is you know you'll need this on every single device. If you have a Nexus 10, you're gonna get Manta. If you have the Nexus 7, it's Grouper, and the uh, Nexus 4 is Mako, I believe. So what you're gonna have to do is just plug in your phone and transfer all these over so just copy and paste it see right there C copy paste and it doesn't take too long I mean it's pretty quick but once you do that you're just gonna wanna exit out of that zoom back out sorry I'm, I'm trying to learn my new camera so <laughs> may take a little getting used to but you are gonna wanna be rooted and you need a custom recovery and that's pretty much it so if you're on stock rooted I'll show you how to power into your recovery so you're just going to want to power off your phone. Like I said, it doesn't take too long. And you're going to want to press and hold both volume keys and the power key until you get to this. This is your bootloader interface. What you want to do is hit volume down until you see recovery mode. Then press power. Now, you can use clockwork mod. You can use Torp recovery. doesn't matter which one you use. So... wait for it all right and just go to the install menu and you are going to want to find the folder where you actually dropped the uh, files into now what I did was I actually created a new folder called Ubuntu for Galaxy Nexus so I don't know if you can there we go zoom in a little bit see right there I just created a new folder just go to gonna go to that and here are those two files. The pre-installed Armel dot well plus Maguro, my bad. We're gonna want to install this one first. Make sure that's what it says. See right there, make sure. You're just gonna want to go to swipe to white. And shouldn't take too long. This is a pretty small file, so and sorry if like I zoom in and I'm trying to get used to my new camera because I just got it thumbs up for the new camera alright now do not reboot the system we are gonna go back and in that same folder <laughs> there we go in that same folder you are going to want to install the pre-installed phablet arm HF thingy and again just swipe to install this as well now you can do the install more zips thing in clockwork mod something I recommend doing actually but you know, again, you don't have to. I didn't, but it's probably it's probably easier. I mean, in twerp, so it's yeah. All right, so that took about five ten minutes to install. It actually took a while. I thought it got hung up, but it really didn't. So once this is done, we're just gonna hit reboot system. Oh oh wow, that actually turned on pretty fast. Now since this is, this is a developer edition, that 14 tweets thing does not go away. So just a little heads up. Sorry to, um, wow that was laggy. Um, like, I mean, after you let the phone settle, I guess for like maybe five minutes or so, I, it actually seems pretty snappy. Like, wow, I'm surprised. Now this is a developer, you know, preview. So I do not recommend this for daily use, of course, but... I don't know how to use those things. How do you go into settings? Do you, can you, this is apps. 
Um, it has Ski Safari. I have this game on Android. Oh wow, that actually opened pretty fast. Okay. Can you play it? It's not. How do you go home? Can I go home? Okay. So I mean, this is, you know, developer preview, like I said, so I don't expect everything to work. But That took a while. I'm just seeing if dialer works. How do we go? Okay, so yeah, this is on T-Mobile, my Galaxy Nexus. How do you? So this is pretty cool. Let's check out the camera. Did I? Okay. Give it a second to open and does it work? Nice. As you can tell, I am downstairs in a lobby, so. My Galaxy Note 2, my HD2, and. Go, how do you go home? Can you swipe on this? Oh, wow. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting used to this. This is my first time ever using Ubuntu, so you will be the same way. <laughs> um. So yeah, this is my video on how to install Ubuntu Touch on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more videos on this device, the HD2, Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy S3, uh, whatever else I have laying around, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.